fake news welcome to today's headlines gunmen attack emo market harm traders and burn vehicles in protest of the sit at home order Gunmen attack Imo Market, harm traders and burn vehicles in protest of the sit at home order. So, my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Thugs harmed with firearms reportedly bombed the Izombe Market. In Imo State, Ogota local government area. The terrible act was allegedly committed by the criminals. On Monday, while carrying out the indigenous people of Biafra's hype up, decision to stop the weekly sit at home command. Hyper been initiated a Monday sit at home movement in the southeast and some regions of the south south in 2021 to call for Unam Dekanu's unconstitutional release from detention at a Department of State Services facilities administered by the Nigerian Secret Police. Sources told Daily Sun that the incident caused a tense stillness as market traders and customers scurried for safety. One of the sources said that the assailants invaded the market and threatened the merchant with dire repercussions if they came out for business on Monday. The hoodlums invaded the market after generating substantial havoc by touching two cars there and became angered by the defiant. According to the source, when people in the market sensed danger, they all ran for safety and many of those who were harmed while attempting to leave the situation. Market vendors looking for safety were hurt while attempting to survive in the midst of the pandemonium. When they got there, they blew up a little bomb within the market. They spewed fuel on two vehicles, lightning everything on fire and everyone ran for safety. Thugs armed with firearms reportedly bombed the Inzobe market in Imo State, Oguta local government area. The terrible act was allegedly committed by the criminals on Monday while carrying out the indigenous people of Biafra's IPOP decision to stop the weekly sit at home command. IPOB initiated a Monday sit at home movement in the southeast and some regions of the south south in 2021 to call for Onamde Kanu's unconstitutional release from detention at a Department of State Services facility administered by the Nigerian Secret Police. Sources told Daily Sun that the incident caused a tense stillness at, as market traders and customers scurried for safety. One of the sources said 
that the assailant invaded the market and threatened the merchant with their repercussions. If they came out for business on Monday, the hoodlums invaded the market after generating substantial havoc. By touching two cars there and became angered by their defiance. According to the source, when people in the market sensed danger, they all ran for safety, and many of those who were armed while attempting to leave the situation. Market vendors looking for safety were out while attempting to survive in the midst of the pandemonium. When they got there, they blew up a little bump within the market. They spewed fuel on two vehicles, lighting everything on fire and everyone ran for safety. Thugs armed with firearms reportedly bombed. The Zobe market in Himo State, a good local government area. The terrible act was allegedly committed by the criminals on Monday while carrying out the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP decision to stop the weekly sit at home command. IPOP initiated a Monday sit at home movement in the southeast and some regions of the south south in 2021 to call for Unamdi Kanu's unconstitutional release from detention at a Department of State Services facility administered by the Nigerian Secret Police. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.